Hello, my name is Daniel Vu and the co-founder of Ohaura. I'm a stroke survivor. My name is Allison Shapiro. I'm also a stroke survivor and I've been teaching stroke recovery skills since 2005. Hi, I'm Rick Martin and I had a stroke 19 and a half years ago. And uh, uh, for 40 years, I'm uh, an acupuncturist. Hi, I'm Sue Stalish and uh, I am a holistic nurse and integrative practitioner. Today, the topic is neuroplasticity. Hansen, for someone new to this concept, could you tell us what is neuroplasticity and how will that help stroke survivors recover? Neuroplasticity is the most important resource that we have for working on a stroke recovery. It's an amazing process. What it means is that our brains are constantly changing. Plastic is the word that means changeable. And that's what our brains are doing. Every minute of every day, our brains are rewiring, making new connections, and making new things happen every minute. When we are injured and a part of our brain is damaged, that means that we can help our brains wire around the damaged area to help us regain function. It's wonderful. And as Allison had stated, it's uh, neuroplasticity is an amazing that it even exists, that we have been able to uh, begin to understand just how much uh, power we have over changing our biology by just taking some charge and uh, taking charge of our thoughts and how that can cause our brains to rewire uh, to, a, to healthier behaviors and, um, and also um, healthier physiology. Thanks, Sue, for your inputs. Harrison, given your own experience, could you tell us what did you do to maximize the benefits of neuroplasticity in your own recovery? And what could we learn from it? Thank you, Daniel. That's a very big question. There is so much we can do once we begin to understand neuroplasticity so much we can do. We can really help ourselves recover by the way we pay attention, by the way we really become sensitive to what's going on in our bodies, begin to work with it. If we have small changes that are occurring, some small change is beginning to happen, maybe just a tiny twitch. If we have that change, we have a choice about whether or not we're going to pay attention to it, or we're going to ignore it. What we may not understand is that when we pay attention to it, we are working with neuroplasticity because we are directing that wiring process right where we want it the most. In the revival of motion, in the ability to function with all of our limbs in the ways that we want to. That's our goal. And neuroplasticity and the way we work with it will help us reach that goal. And maybe it, it, it's not a twitch, it's a, a pain, but you can go uh, underneath the pain and, and see, oh, that's waking up. Because I walk for, uh, oh, I was in a wheelchair and now I, 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 I walk all the time. Harrison. For someone trying to learn about neuroplasticity, what information they can find on your website? There are a number of things on the website. One of the things on the website is the blog I write. And in that blog, I talk about neuroplasticity in various different ways, in some of the ways that we can maximize it. I also have written about it in the book I wrote. And that's an explanation that people may find beneficial. So there are several ways to find out information on the website. 
Thank you. Neuroplasticity, the biggest gift we have been given as survivors to recover from stroke. We have more discussions about this topic in the future. Stay tuned.